Hello, everybody. Now this is the right meeting. Eh, ¿Cómo están? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. You? I'm good. Um, primero que todo, me gustaría disculparme porque había ingresado en la reunión equivocada. Uh, ahorita ya estamos en la correcta. So, let's begin with the class. Um, I guess everybody is here. So, primero que todo, me gustaría compartir unas indicaciones básicas. Eh, la primera de ellas es que ingresemos a las clases, a las videoconferencias, a, a las 8 en punto, ¿verdad? La segunda es que mantengan sus cámaras activas y sus micrófonos con el audio apagado hasta el momento que nos toque participar. Ok. And the other one is that cuando ustedes puedan avanzar en el curso, en la plataforma, háganlo. Eh, eso nos va a mejorar, nos va a facilitar en las clases. Eh, vamos a venir a repasar, ustedes ya van a haber avanzado. Y aquí nada más vamos a venir a, a discutir sobre lo que han eh, leído, lo que han practicado, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, after this uh, little introduction, uh, we're going to start uh, the first class. So for this, uh, do everybody have access to the platform? Uh, who is connected yes. from the computer? Yes, yes I am. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can. So we are, I'm going to share uh, the platform in which we are going to work. So can you see my screen, guys? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Sure I can see. Okay. Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. This is the platform in which we are going to work. So as I was told you, telling you before, uh, you can advance in the meeting. You can ad advance in the course. Um, you can go to the video, to the sections, and in, in, the, in the meeting, we are going to discuss what you have learned, what you, what you have uh, practiced. So for the first topic, uh, we have an objective. Who wants to read the, the objective? Can everybody help me? Yes. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. In this lesson, participants will learn now to introduce themselves and other by listening to a conversation between two people who just meet and are introducing each other. Each other, okay. So we are going to watch a video. And the video, there is a conversation between two people who are talking, uh, who are meeting and are sharing uh, basic information. Like when you just uh, meet someone. So I hope you can uh, listen very well the audio. And if you can see the, the video, you can zoom a little bit uh, if you are connected from a cell phone. So let's play the video. I will play it in the full screen. So listen. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the pre-intermediate course. This is section one. Please call me Beth. So it's... And are introducing each other. 
Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We learn how to introduce ourselves and others for you. Uh, can you see the video, guys? Yes, teacher, I can see the video. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Pay attention to the to the people talking. To learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to. Don't forget yeah. to practice it. Sorry, as well. but the sound is very low. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sun He is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. Okay. Um, what was the video about, guys? Introducing people to person. Yes. Uh, there were two people talking about them, themselves. Uh, where was? Hello. Mm -hmm, yes. Hello, hello. 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 Tell me. Yes. Sí, sí, lo escuchamos. Um, they are talking about uh, where are they from? Yeah, everything okay. Everything okay. Okay, guys. Um, let me um, stop this. So, okay. The next section, uh, there was a problem with another video. So, 1.2, uh, the objective for this um, uh, point is by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjectives. For example, my, your, his, her, its, are, their, in order to introduce their names and to express possession. Okay. Um, so we are going to watch another video. That is in the platform guys. So if you want to, to check after the class, you can do it, feel free. No se oye. Okay, let me fix that. Let's start again.
No sé si soy solo yo, pero no escucho. No escucho. No, no se escucha. No se escucha. No se escucha. No. Creo que debe cambiar la fuente de audio en Zoom. Ok, déjeme probar. Eh, ¿Ahora? No, no te hicieron, no se escucha. Déjeme ver qué está pasando. We're equals we are. Ahora sí. Okay, sí. Ahora sí. Sí. Ah, ok, vamos a empezar de nuevo entonces. There. Today, we will go over the possessive adjectives. Let's listen and look at the chart. Statements with B. Possessive adjectives. Statements with B. I am from Mexico. You are from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Contractions of B. I'm equals I am. You're equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. We're equals we are. They're equals they are. Possessive adjectives. My. Your. His. Her. It's. Our, their. I want you to pay attention to the possessives. In English, each person has its own possessive. So remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. Okay, guys, um, what we are going to do next is to share uh, your own examples uh, in the chat. I will start. So I will write something using a possessive adjective. For example, my computer. This is uh, a possessive adjective for the third person. Uh, in this case, I. Uh, so my equals I. So who wants to share another example using his or her, uh, your, in the chat? You can type uh, anything you want. For example, uh, his car. His computer, your house, yeah. Her car, his car, our family, my cell phone. Yeah, very good. Uh, very the, nice example. The, the, this is her car? Yeah, this is her car. Um, things like that, that uh, shows belonging. So we use a uh, possessive adjective to express that something, something belongs to another person or to you, right? Is this clear? Okay. So in Spanish, usamos los adjetivos de posesión para expresar de que algo nos pertenece. ¿O le pertenece a alguien más? ¿Ok? Ok. Uh, exactamente, sí. like, así como los están usando. 
todos los ejemplos están correctos. So, do everybody, do everybody have any question? Do, do someone have any question? I don't have a question. Okay, you don't have. Anyone? So if you don't have questions, we are going to continue with the with the platform. In this exercise, uh, you are going to complete these sentences by choosing the proper form or be or the correct possessive adjective. So what we are going to do here is we're going to, to work as a whole class. And you are going to help me to fill this blank uh, by selecting the correct uh, answer, the correct option. option. So in this case, my name we is, have, is, is, have, is, is, is the is. correct answer is is is. My name is, is David Garza. <laughs> my name is David Garza. Why is it is? Uh, ¿Por qué es is? ¿Por qué usamos is? Porque es eh, plural. Eh, es perso eh, es primera persona. Es tercera persona. Es tercera persona. Es... Mine. No. Estamos hablando Mine. de es primera, primera persona. persona. Primera persona. Primera, primera persona. persona. We're talking about me. Excuse me. Me, ok. My name is David Garz. Next one. The number two. I'm from Mexico. Um, my. My, his, my. your? My. 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 My, my family my. is from Mexico City. Because we continue talking about me. It's information about me. So my family. Next one. My brother is 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 is, is, is a university is. student. So university is, is, is the correct answer is is my brother is a university student. If you are not, then you are a an university student. Uh, in this case, uh, university start with the. Uh, with the vowel, right? But there is a rule that said that uh, even though it start with the with the vowel, uh, we don't use an, we use a always in this particular word. We always use a a university when the word is with university. Uh, did you get? No, I don't. When we use. I don't uh, understand. Okay, uh, déjenme pedirles un favor. Quienes tengan el micrófono activo, le podrían uh, poner mudo para que no nos interfiera el audio. Okay, eh, les, les voy a explicar. Cuando es universidad, no usamos an. Uh, hay unas pocas palabras, nada más, uh, que incluso in, que inician con una vocal, no usamos an. Y universidad es una de ellas. So, siempre decimos a university, not an university. Ok. This is a... Puede ser otra palabra. Um... This is a particular word that is different than to the others. So when you see a, a university is correct, it's not an a university. Thanks. It's okay. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, we can use the preposition the university? No. Uh, because uh, we know that university as house, we don't say the house. Uh, 
we we say house uh, or home. For example, I'm going home. We use only home. We don't say I'm going to the home uh, because we know that we only have one home, one home, and also church. I'm going church, not I'm going to the church. So no okay, samos. Uh -huh, no usamos uh, the word the. Eh, cuando sabemos de que solo existe una opción. Ok. So let's continue with number four. Uh, in this case, which one will be the correct answer? Her name his, is? His, his, his name is his, his name. His, his, his name. name. Yes, his name is Carlos. Uh, next one, uh, we have hair, your mind. Mine. Also, my. Pay mine. attention to the subject. Ah, hair, hair, hair. Yes. Because we have uh, Sunhi Park. She, she. Mm -hmm. It's a name uh, from a girl. Mm -hmm. So. Is her name is Sunhi Park. No, 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 no. Uh, let me. Eh, my. My, it's my. mine. Because in here we have I'm 20, I'm 20 years old. We have more information. So when we introduce uh, a third person, we use her or his. But in this case, uh, Sunhi is introducing. Uh, herself. Uh, number six, my sister. Is, my sister is, is, is a student here. So the correct answer is is. Number seven, I'm Elizabeth, but everybody calls me Beth. My last my, 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 last, my, my, last, my name. last name is Sylvia. Okay. Number eight. Which one is the correct? I'm. I am. I. I'm a student uh, at uh, at City College. I'm a student at City College. And My the last one R. 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 Yes, R. we use R because my parent is a uh, singular, uh, a plural, plural now. Plural. plural now. Yes. Okay, let's check. Good job. I, all of them are correct. So basically, that is what you are going to do in the platform. You are going to co complete the exercises in every section. So we are going to review every topic in here in the platform, and then you are going to complete. So let me tell you that by the end of the, the week number two, uh, you will have to complete complete the section one, two, and also the midterm. These sections, okay. let, me show, let me show you this, the sections. You have to cover the section one, the section two, and the section three that in, includes the midterm, right? The exam by the end of the week number two. Okay, so when you have time, you can uh, go to the platform and advance. You can fill uh, the homeworks, you can do the exercise. Teacher, excuse me. Okay. El manual, okay. donde le encontramos? Um, usted fue la que me preguntó acerca del manual, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Uh, Yo, pero... pues, en este caso, es que lo... digan. 
perdón, solo le iba a decir que los módulos anteriores siempre ha estado el manual ahí y lo hemos usado, pero hoy no aparece. Teacher, ah, yo, creo. Creo, teacher yo creo que el manual lo ponen después cuando mandan una hojita o, donde uno tiene que firmar este, diciendo que lo ha recibido. Sí, en este caso eh, déjeme consultarle al encargado porque no nos mencionaron nada acerca de eso, solo nos dijeron eh, de que trabajáramos con la plataforma. ¿Y um, con qué libro, están qué libro están utilizando, teachers? Siempre será el Interchain. En este caso, como ya está el contenido en la plataforma, nada más vamos um, como chequeando su progreso, discutiendo lo que ustedes han estudiado para uh, aclarar algunas dudas que ustedes tengan acerca del contenido. So, nos vamos a enfocar en, en, en la plataforma y en el contenido que está dentro de ella. Eh, luego voy a consultar acerca de, del manual que ustedes me están diciendo, pero no nos habían mencionado nada de eso. No, pues que yo, tengo yo tengo entendido que el manual es el mismo, el, el, la misma plataforma, no más que impreso. Pues. Uh -huh. Bueno, eso siempre he visto yo que es. Um, lo que sucede es que todos los módulos eh, simultáneamente se abre la plataforma, ya está en eh, un área eh, alojada, el manual, o sea, las clases que se van a ver de un, eh, de un libro, pues, de lo, uh -huh. porque yo lo tengo, es el Interchange, entonces va por, por ciertas secciones y eso es lo que van, han ido subiendo, solo que en esta ocasión si no se visualiza, entonces sería bueno que lo consultara, porfa. Sí, lo voy a consultar y con el encargado porque no nos había mencionado, pero... Por el momento vamos a avanzar aquí en la plataforma. Que si es el mismo contenido, creo que luego podemos uh, solicitar el manual para que ustedes lo tengan. Ok. Ok. Let's continue uh, with the other sections. Uh, 1.5. So the objective is uh, that by the end of this lesson, you will be able to talk, to ask and answer questions with using WH questions. For example, what, who, where, when, and how. So we use this kind of questions to get information about other people, about yourself, or about anything. So we are going to watch the video and then we are going to practice the WH questions. Let me share uh, my screen. Can you see uh, the video, right? Yes, we yes, can. Yes, share. Okay. Okay. Let me play. The Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. Okay, wait. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using WH question words. What, who, where, when, and how. First, Let's listen to an audio program and then we'll talk about it. WH questions with B. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Whose son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're really interesting. When we use WH question words, we want to know more information. Therefore, your answer cannot be yes or no. It is necessary to know the meaning of each word so you know what you're being asked. This way, you will be able to give a correct answer. Uh, could you hear what the girl says at the end? 
Uh, she said that we use WH questions to get more information. It's not a, not only a short answer. Uh, for example, if I ask you, what's your name? You don't say, you don't say, uh, yes, my name is. No, you, you say, uh, my name is, and then you introduce your name. Uh, and also, how old are you? And asking by for your age. When I say, uh, where are you from? I say, I'm from El Salvador, or I'm from Mexico, uh, any country you are, okay? So, okay. let me see. In the chat, um, can you write WH question? What are you doing? Uh, yes, like what are you doing? And use the question mark. What are you doing? How old are you? Uh, how are you? Where are you from? Where do you work? Um, what is your first name? What's your first name? Or what's your, your last name? What is your favorite sport? Uh, did you see the match El Salvador against uh, Trinidad and Tobago tonight? Yes, I saw. Uh, you watch and how was it i couldn't see it was good the match i was interesting what's interesting so el salvador won two zero right two zero yeah how do you spell your name What's your favorite food? Uh, where is your brother? Okay, good. Uh, does someone have uh, any question? No? No teacher. No. No questions. No. Okay, good. Let's continue with a uh, WH question. So we are going to complete the questions by using WH question words. And like the previous one, we are going to choose the correct answer. So who, who helped me? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Uh, 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 this one. Number Thir 13. Uh, number three. Yes. Who's, Who's that? Thir and the answer is? Third. Who? Third yet. Third. Who's that? Oh, that's Miss Miss Smith. Miss Smith. Oh. Uh, next one. Where is, where is she from? Where is she from? Where? First. Where is she, Where is she the, from? She's the from Miami. From Miami. As you can see, uh, this is contracted. Yeah. Uh, but if you say, where is? Where is is the same. In this case, where? constructed. Where's? Where's? Where is? Equals where is? And also the answer, she is from Miami. Or you can say she is from Miami. Next one. What? What is? What? What? What's the first name? What's, what's her, her first right? name? It's yeah. Cecilia. Celia. Right. Okay. Number Where? four. 
Poor. 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 Who are the two students over there? Who are the two students over there? Their name their names are Jeremy and Karen. So, who are who are? Okay. Who are the second the second one? Where are where are they from? Where are they from? They are from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, number six. How are? How are? How are they like? How are they like? How are? They are fine, but very friendly. Yes. How are they like? Let's check. Very good. Everything is okay. So, so far, do you have any questions? Or oh, this is very easy for you. It's easy, right? Okay, let me see. Uh, Manuel Orellana, can you read the objective of this lesson, please? Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes or no questions and short answers will be are introduced. Okay, like the previous section, we are going to watch a video uh, between two people conversation using the WH question. Okay, let's listen. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how Sun He and David ask each other yes no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. Hey, how are you? Hey, Pretty Sam. good. How are you? So Very are your good. classes so interesting you this class? semester? Yes, they yeah, are. Yeah, I really yeah, love yeah, chemistry. Yeah, really chemistry? Interested. Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. Class? My class no, is in the morning. Her yeah. class is in the afternoon. In the morning. Listen, I'm it's on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. The cafeteria now. Okay, let's check. Um... Do you recognize uh, the vocabulary used in the conversation? Yes. It says, hey, David, uh, how is it going? How is it going? What does it mean? Uh -huh. Hola, David, ¿cómo va todo? O algo así. Yeah. It's like, how is everything going? Something similar. Then they said, fine, thanks. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? How are you? And then pretty good. Pretty good. This mean uh, very good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any vocabulary that you don't recognize? Teacher, One question. What significa? Yeah, tell me. Uh, chemistry. Chemistry. See. Chemistry. Chemistry is uh. Chemical. Yeah. Chemical. In Spanish. Uh, okay. Thanks. Chemistry. That's it's a, it's a subject that the students usually study in the at the university. Chemistry. So I guess you study as well in the high school. Mm -hmm. uh, any other mm -hmm. word that you don't recognize? 
Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yeah. yeah, tell me. When, when we use the word so, so are your classes so, interested in this? Uh, it's like uh, when people in Spanish says entonces, uh, so it's, it's the same. We use so okay. to spread that, um, like in Spanish, someone say, entonces tus clases son interesantes. Okay, I understand. Okay. So let's continue. Let me see next. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to make yes, no questions and give short, short answers with B. So different to the WH question, uh, you will answer with yes or no. And the complement. So I'm gonna show you how. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with B. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Okay, we'll stop uh, in here. So, when somebody asks you, for example, this, are you free? You say yes, and then I am. So the right answer is yes, I am. Not only yes. Uh, in the second one, is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Not only yes, like in the previous one. In the third one, is Beth classes uh, in the morning? Yes, it is. And this one, are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. Because we are going, we are talking about uh, you and Beth. But in this case, it's me. We use we, we are. Me and Beth, we are. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. Oh, for the negative negative form. No, I'm not. No, he is not. Or no, he isn't. No, it's not. No, it isn't. No, we are not. No, we aren't. We aren't. No, they are not. Or no, they aren't. Is clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. let's let me ask um Silvia Merlos. Can you hear me? Yes, I do. I'm going to ask you a uh, yes no question and you will okay. answer you uh, uh you will answer me. Uh are you from from El Salvador? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. 
Um, another question. Um, let me see. Is your son in your house? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Do you have a son? Yes. Yes, ah, I have. Nice. Yes. Good. I didn't know. This was only a, a, a random question. Okay, very good. Let's continue with, with the video. Look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Okay, let's stop here. The verb be. What is the verb be? You. I. Me, are, I. Have, I. Are, he, is, she. He. Are, yes. I, he, she, it, oh. we, and what else? You, they. 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 Okay. So to make yes, no question, we use the verb be plus subject uh, and a complement plus the, the question mark. Don't forget the question mark. Okay, let's also, continue. when answering in affirmative, you have to always say, yes, he is, yes, we are, yes, you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying, no, he's not, or no, he isn't. No, they're not, or no, they aren't. Okay, you have to answer with the complete uh, form. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. And so on. Is it clear, guys? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes it is. Okay, nice. That was a uh, yes, no question. Is clear? Yes, it is. Let's continue with the next. And um, this is an exercise. So we are going to answer these questions uh, about yourself. And remember to give either a compliment, a complete affirmative or negative answer. And remember to place a period at the end of the sentence. Okay, uh, who wants to help me with the first one? No, I'm... Are you from the United States? No, I'm, no, not. I'm not. No, I'm not. So the correct answer is no. no. I'm not. And the period. <laughs> the period. Don't forget. Don't forget the period. At the end of a uh, sentence. Next one. Next is your teacher. teacher from Canada? No. No, I don't know. No. She is not. No. No, she is not. No, he's not. Or she is not. No, he is not. He. Or no, he isn't. Is your English class in the morning? No, no it isn't. No, it is not. It is not. And the period. Are you and your best friend the same age? No, we are not. We are in. No, we are in. 
No, we are not. Or no, we aren't. Let's see. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, there is something wrong. In the first, um, we will put, no, I'm not from the United States. Are you from the United States? Uh, let me see. Yo tuve el mismo problema. Este, todas me daba error al contestarlo. Es por el apóstrofe. No, es que requiere una respuesta más completa. Es decir, no, yo no soy de no, I'm, Estados I'm Unidos. Not... Let me see. Let the complete uh, answer. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, so no. in this case, it's not. Um, no, he is not Canada. from, from Canada. Canada. And this, no, we are Canada. not best friends. No, they are not the same age. Same age. They are not the same age. Same age. Let's check. What is wrong here? He is not from Canada. I don't know what is wrong here, but. En esa le puse, pues, eh, yes, she is from Canada, y me la tomó buena. Let's sí. see. Creo que sería el she, el, en lugar de he. She, ajá. Uh -huh. Es que le puso he, y era she. Let's see. Las mayúsculas no influyen. Yes, I guess. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Everything okay. So that uh, that is why it's important that you um, do the ex the exercise before the class. So we can complete that correctly. Yeah. Teacher, no sé si va a pasar asistencia o... No, en este caso no, porque en la videoconferencia ya, ya queda registrado quienes entraron, quienes no. Ok. Excelente. No, es que en los, en los otros anteriores siempre pasaban asistencia. Oh, no, en este caso eh, no, no, ya queda registrado, no se preocupe. Ok, por eso. sí. So it's almost 9 p.m. Um, pero como por mi culpa entramos un poquito tarde, creo que vamos a seguir por cinco minutos más. Espero que no haya ningún okay. inconveniente. No, teacher. Okay. No, let's go. Thank no, teacher, you. Let's practice, okay? Thank you. Um, who wants to read the objective? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, please. Who, who said me? Me. Okay, I, go ahead. And What's your name? Manuel. Manuel, Manuel Orellana. Okay, go, go ahead, Manuel. Thank you. Okay. In this lesson, participants will be able to read an article and to answer some comprehension questions. Okay. In this lesson, you will be able to read an article 
and to answer some comprehension questions. So we are going to read a paragraph, an article, and then based in the, on the information, you are going to answer some questions. Uh, okay. Let's see. Sí. Um, en este caso creo que nos va a tomar un poquito de tiempo. Creo que lo vamos a hacer en la próxima clase. Para que lo podamos completar correctamente, ¿verdad? Y no lo hagamos a la, a la ligera. It's okay, teacher. It's okay. Because um, see that is very big. It's a large article. Or you can complete that at home when you have time, when you have free time. So through the WhatsApp uh, group, you can share the result if you do that so. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, bueno. Um, let me see. En este caso vamos a llegar hasta aquí por ahora. Um, nos vamos a conectar mañana y vamos a continuar donde nos quedamos. Vamos a seguir el ejercicio que nos quedó pendiente. Y les prometo que no los voy a volver a sacar de la reunión como me pasó ahora. Eh, vamos a empezar a las 8 como siempre. Si pueden avanzar, avancen en la plataforma. Y pueden enviarme alguna captura si tienen alguna pregunta o duda en el chat. Voy a hacer uh, lo posible de contestarles durante el día, ¿verdad? Porque a veces estamos un poco ocupados todos. Pero voy a estar aquí para ayudarles, para guiarles. Cualquier duda que tengan, uh, la solventamos juntos. Uh, si no tengo la respuesta, la puedo buscar. Y la idea es de que ustedes avancen en la plataforma, que practiquen y que siempre nos conectemos a las clases, ¿ok? Ok. okay thank you. Good night. 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 Good